Hello everybody, welcome to a new uh, cooking rodeo with the Taylor Cowgirl. Eddie is in school and uh, I just want to do something short but good today because uh, we have uh, a lot on the program. I'm not at work. Uh, we have tax day so it's early morning and I want to get something done here for you. And uh, today I'm making a matzo ball soup, whole plant based vegan for my Jewish whole plant based friends. And I love matzo ball soup too. So let's get it started. Uh, you need, uh, the idea to make this today was because I've leftover quinoa. You can take millet too, but this is leftover quinoa. Quinoa, you need a, a cup and uh, you need the put it down before I forget it. You need the food processor. Processor. So we put our quinoa in the food processor. Oh, put your oven on 400 degrees, please. Hey, I gotta catch Eddie from school later, but um, I wanted to do that first and then we have uh, some tax stuff to do okay this is a cup of uh, matzo ball meal I think I have it here to show you yeah no that's not it no, here it is. matzo ball meal you can also take matzo ball crackers and put them in the food processor or four to five I did that before Okay, and then we have uh, one and a half teaspoon flaxseed meal. It goes in. Then we need one and a half teaspoon lemon juice. I have that uh, in the bottle one, so I need to take that one. No. It's actually lime juice, don't tell anybody, but I have that and I need to use it, so instead of lemon juice, I use lime juice, so what? Then uh, we need one and a half teaspoon garlic powder, one, half, two, half, three, half. I never have too much garlic in Gilroy. How are you all doing, people? It's weekend. <coughs> oh, it's not raining right now in Gilroy. It's nice to see the sun. We have <coughs> one and a half teaspoon onion powder. Then we have one and a half teaspoon Italian seasoning. You know the Italian herb seasoning. Okay. We have baking powder. And I think it's a quarter. Let me just check here. Yep, quarter teaspoon baking powder. That's right. Okay. Quarter teaspoon. And what did I forget? Oh, salt. Salt, salt, salt. So my recipe says half a teaspoon. <coughs> If that is too much, just put less in. I, I like uh, salt in my matzo ball, so half a teaspoon. All right. And we have two pinch of pepper, about two pinch of pepper. I just uh, grate it in here. Let me double 
check, but I think, oops, was the, the magnet from my refrigerator that just fell down. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, one cup hot water, hot water is missing. Let me take just for myself. I have nothing in there, it's just hot water. And there's hot water in here for the soup later. Alright. Put that one in. And then we process that all to a dough. We pulls it until it's, uh, you know, comes a consistent dough. There's nothing to uh, shred or so, it's just uh, making it consistent. So it just goes faster than uh, making it by hand. You see, it's already forming a ball. You see it? a little ball so we are almost there check looking good yeah looking good okay. and uh, I think I put it in a bowl it makes it easier for you and then I have to take the food processor away I think it makes it easier for you to check what I'm doing. Here's my hands. My hands are washed. Lots of all this uh, mm. a Jewish item. I love the Jewish kitchen. I love before I got whole plant based vegan. I love that. Um, I think it's honey bee cake. Russian Jewish honey bee cake. Oh my god. It's so good. But it's just eggs and fats, so I can't eat it anymore. Um, I love the latkes, found a recipe, open and based, it's on my YouTube channel, so good latkes recipe. And uh, those matzo balls are whole plant based too, so nothing to complain about. Okay. Everything out here. All right. In the sink. We take about one and a half. Uh, tablespoon I would say to make a matzo ball to make our matzo ball let's see you see it's just a uh, if, it, if it's too sticky just go with the hands in in the warm water yeah I think that's big enough I don't even think I need a spoon I just uh, 
make it for you. So the, the oven should be 400 degrees. Okay. That's a good portion of matzo balls. So it should be enough for a whole family. And uh, it's healthy. I mean, there's so much uh, you can do with recipes you loved, and you can tweak it for plant-based, vegan. You would be amazed how many, how many I found. I just found a, a good uh, no-need bread, so this is something I might show you another time. I'm gonna do that today too. Is that the big? What do you think? I don't think that so. I think they are just right. I mean, these are not Italian meatballs. They're like head of a baby. <laughs> if you do it right. Or the Tyrolean um, bacon dumplings, the bread dumplings. They are big. But those matzo balls have cute little bullets here. And we will put them in a nice soup once they are baked. So they have to bake 20 to 30 minutes. We will talk again when they bake. I just show you. I mean, for the soup, you can do whatever you want, whatever you like in your soup. Um, I do vegan broth. I have hot, hot water here. I will put the vegan broth in there. I have uh, chopped up. Um, some scallions I need to use, they need to go, it's kind of a soup to clean the kitchen, <laughs> the, I'm sorry, to clean the refrigerator of course. Um, I have in there, I had half a bag uh, of, um, you know, vegetables, carrots, broccoli and cauliflower, so I use that to get rid of it. Uh, I have dried parsley, dried chives I will use. Then uh, mushrooms, a packet of mushrooms, chopped mushrooms, it's always good. Mushrooms are so healthy, I, I always try to put them everywhere. So whatever you have on, on, on vegetables you want to put in a soup, do it. You can also put um, a potato in, you know, to have a nice uh, starch in there. I still have more left over quinoa. I will put a, a spoon of uh, quinoa in my soup so that I have more starch. Anyway, who, anyhow. So these are my matzo balls. A little apart. And they go in the oven 20 to 30 minutes until they are nice and brown. At 400 degrees. Put this on here to show you what I'm doing. Okay, oops, let's turn it off here. So I have a hot plain hot water in here. I will get um, a tablespoon of uh, vegetable broth. Or uh, vegan broth. Put that in. Okay. Then we have my my vegetables are chopped. You know, as I told you, the frozen vegetables and some mushrooms. This will all cook down. It's frozen right now. The mushrooms are fresh in. The, all nicely cooked down and uh, when the matzo balls are done we will put the, we will add them so I have also a bit of ginger if you want to look how I do my soup I put a little ginger in a quarter teaspoon ginger I just like ginger in a soup okay. Then I put in 
quarter teaspoon nutmeg. Oh, oh I spilled again. But that's if I don't spill my recipe is not getting nice. <laughs> you know what? Those on a timer. Do 20 now because I already Okay. Then we have uh, I like parsley and chives. I have some dried ones. I, I just I'm cleaning my refrigerator out today. I just wanna, you know, put that stuff in. Just a, take three fingers and put it in to your liking. I personally also like a little bit of maggi. You don't have to do it if you don't like maki. This is a garden lovage. I have it in the garden, but not right now. Just a little bit, not much. In the uh, in English, it's called garden lovage. In German, it's or maggi herb they call it. In German, it's Liebstöckel. And uh, I just love it. Okay. Uh, this is my soup, which I just keep here until actually I should put it here. Well, you will see. I just keep it here and uh, we see each other in about 20 to 30 minutes when the matzo balls are done. All right, see you. Okay, oops, ah, they're hot. I took them out. Here are my ready matzo balls. See them? They are crispy. I can feel it. So I think they are just right. Put them here on the on the um, board. Now let's look at my soup. That looks good. So it's soft, my soup. Um, even the big chunks of cauliflower, everything is just fork, fork soft, fork ready. And uh, if you ask for salt, no, I didn't put salt in. For me, it's actually enough salt. If you need more salt, you, I would do it now at the end or let everybody who eats put their own salt on. So this way you can't go, go wrong. I don't need any salt in that soup. There's salt in the matzo balls. I have the, the vegan uh, herb and the maggi in there. So I don't need any more salt. What I do is, um, I, I told you, you could put a potato in for more starch because I'm eating starch based. What I have is, uh, what I have is some leftover, some more leftover quinoa, which I put in to make it a little more nutritional. The rest that goes in a spinach salad I have tonight. Rainbow quinoa, nice little, you know, different colors. I like it. Okay, so oh, this is enough quinoa in there. Quinoa, quinoa. What do you say? Quinoa or quinoa? <laughs> anyway, so let me try one of these matzo balls first. Mm. Good. Mm -mm -mm. They're good. Okay. Should I throw in? Well, not what we do. It's just my party, but that's not what we do. Okay, just the one that bit off. Where's the one that bit off? Here. Put that in my soup. All right. my soup I left the, the thing the right at the steam <laughs> stupid okay uh, yes I am a little clumsy today <laughs> just in case you <laughs> you think that you're right you can help it I will eat right now. 
And the others I just throw in the soup. See? So all the people can eat matzo ball soup in my house. Yeah, that looks good. And I put a little bit more chives on it. Enjoy, enjoy my matzo ball soup. I hope you liked what you saw and I see you again next weekend for another cooking rodeo, hopefully with the little one. <laughs> I think we are baking bread, but maybe I have something else up my sleeve, okay? <laughs> and as you say in California, peace out. Pow! <laughs>